Hey, sweethearts, how is everybody? Happy Tuesday. Tea Tuesday. All right, y'all. I've got my candle going. I got my teapot seeping with my tea, sitting on my tray, and I got my cup and saucer. And I've had these for a long time, but these are Liberty Blue Historic Colonial Scenes, Old North Church, made in England. So that's what this one is. And look at the beautiful church. I love these. Love, love, love these. And then I got the colonial scene in Paul Revere riding through the town on this one. Isn't that gorgeous? Just love these. And you can tell it's old. It's got a little bit of the crackling going on on the glaze. But I adore these. So, and the tea I'm drinking today is the Rose Red. And this is the Sweet Temptations. And I'm doing the Apple Caramel. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. I, I can't hold this cup up. I'm going to bring y'all up here. I want you to see that pretty color. Let's see what we can do here. There we go. Look at that beautiful tea. Isn't that gorgeous? It's got kind of an appley, rosy red. You know, when you go to the mountains in the fall to pick apples, and it's got those rosy red colors everywhere, and then the leaves are starting to turn. That's my favorite time of the year. I like to go and pick up cabbages and apples and stuff like that, you know, for kraut, and then, you know, apples to make anything and everything. Of course, dried apples, you know, uh, frozen apples, you can put them all up for your winter into your spring. So, I got my stuff for my winters ready to mail out. And I send both messages because I need both of them to email me their addresses. Thank y'all. Because uh, I probably, I know I've got one, I think, but I'm not sure about the other one. So, anyway, I need those addresses emailed to me. And y'all, I've been sitting around messing. Uh, just, just doing little bits of that and the other. You know how you sometimes do? I was sitting here last night and playing with things, and uh, I was getting lace ready to make more dresses, and I figured out that I can just glue it all, get it all ready at one time, and then I've got the stuff from a lot of my skirts I remade. I can just cut it and go from there. So, just little things. Just little things. It has been uh, cool and calm last couple of days and i am so grateful and thankful for the coolness oh my heavens oh that is good mm. y'all you don't even have to add on these rose reds, the temptations, you don't have to add sugar. They've already got stevia in them, and they are wonderful. And I got a candle burning too, and it's uh, Bath and Body Works, but it's snowflakes and citrus from last year I had got. And I love this candle. It is one of the three wick candles, and y'all, it smells so good. It smells just clean and fresh, you know, citrus. It's going to smell clean and fresh, but it does, it does. But, um, anyway, let's see, what else is happening? Oh, I've been watching a lot of videos, lots and lots of videos. And I had a little extra time, so I was sitting down while I was uh, doing a couple things and uh, made some video, or listened to a lot of videos, and there is a lot of contests. In fact, that's what I'm going to work on today. I got, um, I think two or three that I want to enter. And, uh, uh, I can't even think of who all they're for. <laughs> That's pretty bad, but I know what they need, so I'll figure that one out later. But, uh, we just, uh, like I said, we're enjoying this cooler weather. Now, they say it's going to turn hot again, but still not supposed to be in the 90s, maybe the 80s. I can handle that. Not great, but I'll handle it until we get to some cooler weather. But, uh, you know, when I was a kid, back going into you know, school and everything when I was young, September, we always had to wear a jacket like at night. And nowadays, mm -mm, ain't no jacket needed. In fact, you know, 
just it's still kind of like ugh. it's a little you know smothery out there but the weather has changed and i don't know what has caused i don't know if it's a natural uh phenomenon or if it is you know the changes but you know we was talking about the earth getting hotter the other night me and my husband was sitting here talking <coughs> and i told him i said now i understand the earth's getting hotter but i also remember back in the 70s and 80s they were talking about the ozone being depleted and they were um talking about uh having to do this and that will come up into the late 1990s i remember when we had to take the uh freon that goes in air conditioners and change it to a new type of freon because they said that um you know it would deplete the ozone if it escaped and refrigerators was the same way cars and you know it always hit me as funny because the scientists had proved that one launch into space can deplete more ozone above the earth which in the ozone layer is what keeps us cooler and keeps you know they say greenhouse greenhouse gases in but no it's, it's not like that because that depositates as it goes up but they said one spaceship going up into space and punching a hole through the uh, atmosphere will do more damage than if everybody in the whole earth cut the lines of freon and everything all at one time now think about that and now we got every country sending stuff up into space we've got rockets going up like crazy and everything else but what they're doing is punching holes into our layers and you know i love exploration but they proved that earth you know, we still got places that's never been explored. The oceans is only, what, 95% explored? Think about that. But yet, we know more about space than we know about our own planet. And that always kind of surprised me. And like I said, working in the heat and air, stuff like that, back in the day. Um, you know, I remember having to take all the classes and everything on the ozone layers and what this does and that does and reclaiming. And all it did, the machines we had to buy back then to reclaim Freon and everything. Oh, my heavens, they were so expensive. And then you had to pay to send that Freon back in. And it was a mess. It was a mess. But it was a government regulation that only caused us to have to spend more money, charge the customer more money, because you have to pass on those charges, and, you know, barely recoup any of it. And, you know, I don't know, sometimes I think every law that comes up is more to make money for the government or charge the consumers more than it is to help anything. Because, like I said, we're so worried about the... Uh, ozone layer and everything else i don't think we'd be punching holes in it just my opinion <laughs> that's all it is my opinion all right um like i said i hope everybody's gonna have a blessed beautiful tuesday i love coming on here and chit-chatting today i've got nothing to show it's oh i do have something to show too i forgot oh timmy you're gonna have to Whoop me, because I about forgot. This, I got some Happy Mail that come from Tammy Rollcott. And that's R-O-W-C-O-T-T. -T. I think that's right. The writing's kind of cursive, so I have a hard time reading. But she sent me a beautiful note card. Isn't that precious? And this is the Temple of the Double Flower. And this is gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. Love, love that. But she said, uh, I absolutely love to watch all your videos. The ones, the ones I watch in the morning always makes my day. Thank you for being so sweet and kind to everyone. Sending hugs and love your way, Tammy. Tammy, honey, that made my day. I got this Saturday and it really made my day. That made me smile. And she had put on the package, Happy Mail. And then she put my little kitty cat on the back. But let me show you what this sweetheart done for me. 
God bless their heart. Everybody knows I could not get my hands on none of the flowers. Well, I've got a lot of Christmas projects coming up, and these just tickle me. Uh, Janet Kay sent me a bunch. Now Tammy. Tammy sent me five packs of the Christmas poncettas. Aren't those gorgeous? I just love, love, love these. And like I said, she sent me five packs of them. And Tammy, bless you for that, sweetheart. Bless you. Because like I said, I couldn't get my hands on none of them. And y'all, when something is five ninety nine a pack, and you can get it for $1.49, and everybody knows how many flowers I use, that just thrilled my heart to pieces. Tammy, honey, I appreciate that. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for thinking about me. That was just absolutely precious. And I love the way you decorated the envelope. And the card, you know, I always keep my cards. Yes, that will be put up and kept. So, anyway, I, like I said, just um, really got nothing else today. I'm, I'm just taking it easy this morning. I'm enjoying my morning tea. I'm enjoying just sitting around. I always enjoy jibber-jabbering. Y'all know that. I can talk to myself and be comfortable because I like to talk. <laughs> it's not so much I like to hear myself talk. I just like to talk. And sometimes there's nobody to listen because sometimes Mr. Dove's like, okay, you've had enough of going to the building. <laughs> if I want to get rid of him real quick, I just start talking to myself and walking around. He disappears in a heartbeat. See, it's a trick you learn after you've been married so many years. And it's like November the 15th this year. See, me and Dave will be celebrating our 36th anniversary. So, it's been a while. I know this man really good, which he knows me pretty good, too. He just still ain't caught up with keeping it all in his head how I am. <laughs> all right. That is going to do me for Tea Tuesday. I hope each and every one of you have a beautiful, blessed day. I hope you sleep with the angels tonight. I hope you just make it the best day possible. God bless each and every one of you. I love you all. Bye, my darlings.